on in guys welcome back okay so <clears throat> another video all right so but this one i've actually had the idea from uh jimbo's homebrew um now we did a video not that long ago on his top five items to have uh homebrewing um now i've seen jimbo's i've seen um crew wolves and i've seen abby homebrews now i've watched a few of them and i just decided you know what seems to be a bit of a trending kind of thing going on let's you know let's get a bit, a bit of it so if i had to go for a top five items in brewing what would i go for okay so number one i think i would have to go for the hand pull uh basically because i'm a huge lover of uh bitters ales stouts and stuff like that and those kind of beers just work so well on a hand pull i mean i've done a bit of, obviously i've done a smoked beer i love the stout on it soon uh, there's just something about it you know when, when you've got the sparkler on i mean when you've got that little beauty on the end of you know your tap there's just something about it that's just so beautiful you know it's yeah it's probably one of the best things i've ever had in brewing obviously because i'm not kegging yet um and like i say because i love dark beers absolutely yeah it's just beautiful and when you get that thick creamy head and i know a lot of people when they look at beer that's not got no carbonation in that you know they're like oh it's flat beer you know it's crap and all that but it's not it really in and, and you know is is a, is a famous quote from hobgoblin was are you afraid to taste something like a boy so uh yeah and I, I, I do love that quote that is a, that is a good one so uh yeah I, th I think if i had to go for number one i'd have to go for the hand pull like i say it's yeah it's it's beautiful i love using it and i'm trying to make so many different beers that i can brew and put on it and yeah, it's it's brilliant so that has to be my number one um my number two i think i would have to go for um i think i'd have to go for the peacock boiler um simply for the fact of the when i first started home brewing i was doing uh, tin kits um, and I didn't really learn about all grain until I think it was about 2018. Um, now, one of the first YouTubers or brew tubers, shall I say, that I ever watched was What's Brewing UK. Um, I was watching for his videos. He did so many great stuff. And I remember getting to one of his later videos before, obviously, he passed on and all that right at the end. Uh, one of his videos what he mentioned was about going all grain and he was on about doing like a uh, obviously kept one of them cooler boxes and turned it into like uh, a mash ton and it was it it was his videos that really sort of got me curious about uh all grain because at first I, I thought the only way you could really brew beer was just you know by a tin kit that kind of thing so yeah i mean watching his videos really opened my eyes on all grain and when i first went to go look at what systems you could actually buy i was looking at some of like the biggest pots where you needed like the buffalo heater but i was looking at synthesizers 100 liters and stuff like that and yeah the price is ridiculous until i come across a link what somebody actually posted in a brewtube page the brewtube official page on facebook and a mention about the pico boilers so I was like, I'll take a look, and yeah, brewing a bag, it's, yeah, it's, it's a good little setup. Not everybody's cup of tea, you know, it's not for everybody, but it makes beer for me, so I'm happy with that. So yeah, I think that would have to be my number two, the Pico Boiler, because all grain, it's definitely a way of brewing where I couldn't look back. Um, don't get me wrong, as I've said before, there's some great kits out there, tin kits, but I think just for me, for me now, all grain's just a way forward. You know, it's brewing different styles where, you know, I can look at a book or make my own. You know what I mean? So, yeah, 
the Pico Boiler, it'll have to be number two. If I had to go for number three, I'm going to go for, I think I would have to go for the uh, the Bible, the Greg Hughes homebrew book, which is an absolutely fantastic book. Uh, I got it, I think it was earlier this year. Um, I got the newest uh, book. Great recipes in there, you know, hundreds of different styles. You know, you've got, obviously, you've got your bitters, you know, you've got your stouts, but then you've got your Belgian beers, your German beers. You've got everything in there. And every beer that I have actually brewed this year, all the recipes have actually been from that book. And I think it's safe to say that every beer that I have actually brewed out of there, the recipe has just been absolutely, just, it's up there. Uh, yeah, it's, it's great stuff like that. I've been happy with every, I have been so happy with all the beers that I've brewed. You know, I mean, obviously I know this year I've mostly brewed darker beers i mean obviously i brewed the harvest pale ale and the smash can't really remember what else i brewed um, yeah kind of forgot uh, but now every recipe that i brewed out of that bulk has been brilliant so uh yeah i think for number three it would have to be the pete uh pico i just said i can't have that twice uh yeah it would have to be the greg hughes home homebrew bulk um Commonly known and well known as the Bible, uh, the Bible of Ruin. So uh, yeah, that has to be me number three. Uh, number four, what would I go for? Number four, what would I go for? So I think if I had to go for a number four, I would probably say the um, the new mashing um, paddle that I've got, which I actually got from my friend Luke. Um, as you've seen them, I'm going to give them a shout out what's made the Broadway Brewer. By the way, that's that's a quick shout out in between. Go subscribe to his channel if you haven't already. Um, so yeah, the mashing panel I got off him. So the original idea he actually had from that, he had a plastic one where it was exactly the same design. Uh, you you would have, you if you've watched me recent video, you would have seen in that. So he actually. Got that design, um, he showed it to his dad who works in, I'm sure it's engineering in a factory and uh, basically his dad did like a copy of, like did something with it and basically did a stainless steel food grade version of it and uh, yeah it become, it's honestly, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, I've used it I think two, three times now. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's better than the plastic ones where it keeps bending all the time. And the stainless steel one I've been using is just, yeah, it's up there. It's fantastic. I love using it. Uh, and it's easy, it's easy to clean. It's just great. Plus, it's got a little bolt, plastic ball on the end. So if you want to rest it on the side of the Pico boiler or whatever you're using, it just sits there. You ain't got to worry about it slipping into the beer and then drowning, baining your hands, scalding your hands, trying to get in there and get it back out. So yeah, I think that has to be my number four because it's a great little. It's just a fantastic mushroom paddle. I love using it. Number five. What would I go for? Um, I think if I had to go for a five. Um, now I know this has already been mentioned by Abby Homebrew and I'm going to have to second it because it was such a, it, it, it was a true point. I'll have to go for the YouTube uh, and the BrewTube official on Facebook uh, and all the other homebrew community as well. Um, because as Abby Homebrew said and I've picked up on this as well and as I've just mentioned about all grain. There's so much you find on YouTube to do with brewing. It's unbelievable. You know, if you want to find out something, as you say, you know, you go on YouTube, you see it, you, you find it. There it is, tutorials, anything. And, I mean, obviously, not, not to sound like I'm the best brew tuber or anything like that, but it's like, say if somebody was watching this now and they wanted to go to, you know, want to find an ample, I wanted to find out more about beer in the bag in the box. Obviously, I've done a review on that. I'll set it up. So, you know, you get videos there. I mean, 
there's so many brew tubes that have done little, you know, like tips on how to do something or, you know, sharing recipes. And that's one thing that I love as well is the way the whole community share the recipes between each other. And, you know, even when it's their own recipe, so that you can brew it yourself. Yeah, it's the YouTube and the brew tube and, you know, just the whole homebrew community on social media, you know, Facebook and YouTube, it's such a huge thing. And you get so many helpful people, you know, I mean, I've been on the odd group, so where you'll ask for a bit of help or, you'll, you know, you'll maybe post something and you'll get them odd cocky remarks, you'll get people that'll be like, well, you know, you should do this, should do that. But then you'll find the odd groups where people are straining and they're like, yeah, I'll help you. This is what I know. You know what I mean? I'm happy to give you my tips. And it's it's brilliant. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, YouTube and the Facebook, the homebrew community, it's brilliant. It's just, it's like a huge family. So uh, yeah, if I had to pick five, they, they would be my top five. And uh, I can only really thank Jimbo's homebrew, Crew Wolf, and Happy Homebrew for, you know, their, their take on it. Because uh, the, the all three of them had brilliant choices. Um, so yeah, that's my top five. If you've obviously watched this or any of the other guys, you know, YouTube channels, and you're uh, you are a brew tuber yourself, double top five. You know, I, I, I you know, I'd love to know other people's top five. Do you know what I mean? So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's my top five. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, it was just a little something. So, uh, yeah. If you like this video, like it. And uh, if you haven't already, do subscribe to my channel, please. Because um, there is going to be more videos coming out soon. Um, so, yeah. If you liked it, you know what to do. So, uh, yeah. Cheers again, guys, for watching. And uh, I will see you on the next video. Which will be over in a couple of weeks. Uh, or next week, who knows. So, uh, yeah, cheers again, guys. Take care. Take it easy. Keep on brewing. Keep drinking. And uh, it's coming up to Christmas. So, uh, yeah, drink, eat, and be merry. And uh, don't forget the mince pies. So, uh, yeah, cheers again, guys. And I'll, uh, I'll see you on my next one. So, ta-ta.